So here's the Camaro dash of 2015 in my 69 Chevelle. And there's the, the driver's side door panel. And you're probably wondering like, how did I get all that to fit? Does it just bolt in? And I'm gonna show you how, uh, when I do the passenger one, uh, I didn't really video the first one, so I'm gonna video the second one. And then you can kind of see how I'm gonna match the passenger one up to the driver one. Now let me show you that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna weld this together, right? I've got this little piece here to do the side. I'm using my Polyvans uh, Mini Weld Model 7. I, I love this thing. It's it's highly adjustable. You can't really see it here, but you just set the, the, the setting for what type of plastic it is. All plastics, modern plastics, modern plastics, not classic cars, they have a stamp on the backside. And this one is TPO, if I remember right. And so what I do is I set that on TPO and then I get the corresponding rod, which is a gray rod right here. I use it a lot and uh, they, you know, inside this box, it tells you exactly which, which rods to use for the type of plastic that it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some kind of basically like tack weld on here because I'm going to, when I pull it all apart, I'm going to weld it up fully, but I want this to kind of sit in here. So I hold this in place, weld the little plastic together. And what I'm using is I'm using the, the plastic from the door and the plastic from the, the filler piece. And I, I'm just using that to kind of create a weld here. And what I'm gonna do, after I get it kind of tacked in place, then I can go back and use the filler rod, kind of uh, create a weld. And all I'm doing is tacking this in place essentially right now. So then when I bolt the door up, it'll all be together. The bottom part of the door already has a fixed position that I like. And this part here, you know, is mostly good. I just want to make it a little bit better. Take some more of the plastic. Now, if you wanted to, technically you could just use the filler rod from, from your leftover plastic that you cut off of the door panels. Off, you know, you could always get like a really a trashy door panel and just use it just for filler rods, right? You don't need to buy filler rods if you didn't want to, if you, if you know the type of plastic it is. And essentially you could go out and buy a bunch of junk doors at, at, at the junkyard and use those for filler rods too. So now I'll take the rod and I'll put it right in this, this little hole here where it kind of goes through. And what that does is it heats up the plastic to where it's nice and, and, and already melted essentially by the time it goes through. It's essentially TIG welding now because you have a filler rod and you're heating up both surfaces and you're filling it with that heated up metal. And I'm just kind of putting this on here because I want it to stay. I don't want it to come off and then have to do it all again. So the more filler rods I use, the better off I am really. And I can always, I'm going to go back and weld both sides, even though you really don't really have to with this. And some people would just use, there's a product by 3M. Uh, it's for fast bumper repair. I think it's, I don't remember the, I don't remember the price, the 9247 or something like that. It's, it's just fast bumper repair. It's an epoxy type of deal and it's flexible but the thing is you're not supposed to put body filler on top of that it says so I don't really know if you can so now that that piece here is nice and welded and then when you when, when the door gets pulled in tight it'll create a nice seam on there all right and it'll look like a factory kind of panel I use this knife every day is that you got to make sure you keep your gaps so now what I'm welding is that little notch that I showed you up here in the front because the door panels are too thick to fit inside between the dash so I had to do something else so what I did is I notched it to kind of it took me a while to figure out exactly how I could get that right and I, I, I kept banging my head and trying to figure it out and I couldn't come up with anything until for some reason I decided hey you know what why don't I put a pie cut in it and that'll allow me to move that whole slot back because that slot lines up with the dash. So that's what I had, that's the problem I had. So if you have a dash that's just too big or you know the gaps are a little bit too, you know, then you can always, it's, it's easier to cut stuff out, you know, of course I, I feel, than to add to a dash or add to a door panel. So I kind of lucked out. And I think that modern cars, I think that the door panels are just bigger uh, for the most part. The cabs are a little bit bigger, you know, old cars.
See where it says TPO? That shows the plastic. That's how you know. this fit to here. And I know how wide it's got to be. We're going to make kind of a banana and then we'll fit it, trim it in there. So now we're going to hit this with the 36 grit to kind of knock off a little bit of it and then we'll go back and hit it with the 80 grit.
this product is is what's called F Grip. It's FF three hundred one. If you want to want to know the part number, but if you go to your local Sherwin Williams Automotive, they're going to have it there. This is their store brand. I use this stuff all the time. It's basically the same thing as Z Grip, but it's Sherwin Williams line. It's uh, it's really good. You almost get no holes, no bleed through. Of course, it is a great product. <coughs> I'm not sure what the list price on this is per gallon. Put some on this end. Primer. This is a four to one ratio, six ounces of primer in here, and then I'm gonna put an ounce and a half of hardener. Okay, so this is the first coat of primer. I'm gonna let this sit. If you notice there's like little fur on it kind of, I'll knock that down with 220 grit and then shoot it one more time. So let's check it out now. You can see pretty well smoothed out. I'll hit it with uh, probably some 400 grit before I paint it. Now I do still have to fix this corner here. I have to wait till I put it all back together and back on the door to know just exactly where that lines up because it kind of came free. So I'll do that and uh, then it'll be done. All right, so let's put this front face on here. So there you go. Now it's all shortened on the front and the back. I cut off, made it all nice and smooth. It's not screwed in, it's just sitting there because I have to do a lot of other stuff, so there's no sense screwing it in. I was gonna do it just to show you what it looked like <laughs> fully screwed in, but you get the picture. Anyway, that's how you do it. That's how you can take a 2015 Camaro door panel 
and fit it in, say, a 69 Chevelle or an A-body or anything like that, or any car, rather. You can do it with Mustangs. You can do it with any cars. It's really pretty straightforward. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I hope it really helps you out. hope you build something nice and custom for yourself. hope this inspires you to do some stuff. Comment, on, uh, comment in the sections. I'd love it. I'd love to hear what you got to say. I'd love to hear some little tips you got. Anyway, click like and follow. Hope to see you on the next video. Going to be building the motor soon, the twin turbo LS. 6.7 liter, baby. Woo!